My Situation, February 15, 2019 by Anna Von writes. I am still up to my shins in clearing and cleaning and reorganizing my home office, a result of the earthquake two months ago. We are trying to organize a national recording office for the United States of America, the actual unincorporated version, and working on a streamlined and online version of the crucial documents people need to record. We are also day by day, writing out information for the jural assemblies so that they know their history and know the structure of their own American government and where the state jural assemblies fit in the proverbial great scheme of things. There is also movement toward resolving all these inconveniences by overturning the false legal presumptions being held against us and false registration practices giving rise to them. Then, instead of us having to prove our provenance and go through all the turkey trot, our employees will have to account for themselves. What a nice idea. My work schedule continues to be brutal. I worked from 6 in the morning to past noon on Valentine's Day without as much as a cup of coffee. No fun. I'm afraid all my correspondence has fallen behind and my emails, too. There's so much public interest work that it is impossible to answer many if any individual questions now. The Living Law Firm team has had a dreadful winter workload wise and lots of other complications. On top of all the craziness and losses caused by the November earthquake, three of us have suffered major car repairs this month and had transportation issues above and beyond the truly nasty weather, which is bad enough all by itself. Health issues for people and health issues for pets, soaring fuel bills and breakdowns of equipment besides the cars, you name it and we have had it. We've gotten through it, because of you, my faithful readers, and I trust that you can tell that we are continuing to haul water for you, too. Every day we learn more, share more, and bit by bit, the education people receive is making a difference. Things are spreading by word of mouth and on a worldwide basis. Anyone who still doesn't understand that I am a land jurisdiction state justice and not involved in the state of state court system needs that explain to them. Anyone who thinks that I am a Jesuit because I helped give notice to the Pope's municipal employees will probably also believe that I am Irish because I wear green on St. Patrick's Day, but if anyone really wants to know the truth, call Evangelical Lutheran Church, Centered in Christ and Sent to Serve, 715-284-4213, or write to the pastor at 115 North 5th Street, Black River Falls, Wisconsin, 54615. Send a small donation for asking him dumb questions like, can a Lutheran be a Jesuit, and have him confirm that I, Anna Maria Riesinger, attended Sunday school there since the age of seven, was baptized, and confirmed as a member of this, my home congregation, and never severed my ties. I am sure that I owe the current pastor a tithe just for the bother this pernicious rumor that deliberate misreporting of the facts has caused. Perhaps some of you who have bothered to check my Lutheran credentials can get on YouTube and help shout down the stupids and the well-paid. Anyone who wants to know can also read my book, Disclosure 101, and my letter to Cardinal George posted on my website, www.annavonrights.com for a taste of what my unpaid mission was all about, why it had to be done, and why I did it. For free, in service to Christ, yes, centered in Christ and sent to serve, but tired and grouchy, too. When you are done there, go to the office of the Registrar at St. Olaf, a Lutheran not Catholic college in Northfield, Minnesota, and stare up my skirt some more. It isn't that I care for my own sake, but all these personal attacks detract from my message, and the information I am giving all of you is crucial for Americans to know for their own sake, for the sake of their children, for the sake of our country and even for the sake of the entire world. We have not been told the truth about our own history and that has left us all at a tremendous disadvantage. Those who continue to cause confusion and to discredit the truth are simply contributing to a problem that is already hard enough to fix. Please help people turn their own Shinola sensors on. When you find people hiding behind pseudonyms like Virgo Triad and Noble Justice, it's time to flip your Shinola sensors on high and start asking questions like, who is this person? Where do they come from? What kind of agenda are they selling? Why are they attacking grandma? Who do they work for? It's not for your benefit that they produce more disinformation. It's not to set you free that they spend their hours trying to discredit me and by association, the message. Wise as serpents, gentle as doves, and I don't blame anyone for being skeptical. I encourage you to dig and delve, but don't be chumps. 
Don't spread gossip for the sake of spreading gossip, don't be frightened and scatter when the liars come. They are only liars and their lies will come home to them soon enough. Keep together and read and reason through things for yourselves. As strange as some of the things I am telling you may seem, two governments, three unions of states, confederate states during the revolution, three constitutions, state citizens, federal, U.S. citizens, etc., 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 what I am telling you is the truth. This is all stuff you were never taught in public school for the simple reason that those printing the textbooks had a different agenda. They meant to enslave you for their benefit, and they largely succeeded. Now is the time to take it all back. Now is the time to wake all the way up. If you can help move the work forward, we are on fumes here. One of team members sent me a photo of his refrigerator, and even for a bachelor, it was empty. I am still acting as paymaster and cupboard keeper. My PayPal is avanavon at gmail.com. Other donations to the cause can be sent to Anna Maria Riesinger, C.O. Box 520994, Big Lake, Alaska, 99652. Thank you, everyone, who has helped keep the work going forward and the spread of knowledge flowing. Please hit subscribe, like, share, embed, and get ready for many more Anna Von Wright's videos.